All right, in this first video, um, you have an advantage. Because we're going out of order, you have already covered geometry. You already have experience using these formulas. Um, we're going to have two videos on geometry, each one doing one of the examples from the notes. So we've already covered rectangles and circles, how to find their areas and their perimeters. Well, we call it a circumference for a circle. But uh, you've already done this because we are in chapter one after having done chapter six. I think it was chapter six. Okay, so we're just going to do this problem in this video. 113. If a 10 inch diameter pizza requires 12 ounces of dough, how much dough is needed for a 14 inch pizza? I'm going to do the wrong answer. So don't write this down if you're copying down what I'm writing. 10 inches for the diameter. Well, you can write this down actually. 10 inches of diameter is 12 ounces of dough. The question is, if we have 14 inch diameter, how many inches of dough, ounces of dough is this? You can write this part down. But after this, I'm going to write down the wrong thing. And I want you to think about why this is wrong. All right, so 10 is to 12, the same way as 14 is to x. And I'll tell you, this is wrong. So take a moment, maybe pause the video, but I'll give some time as well, and think about what is incorrect about this. So mathematically, it's using the proportions that we used before, which is fine. But the issue is that this is not a linear relationship. Because we're not, the dough is not a length, right? The dough is a volume. The dough is a quantity. And by linearly scaling, let's take out that word. I don't want to make it use more words than I have to. We're not just increasing the dough by 40%. If we increase the diameter by 40%, the dough changes by a different amount. So we actually need to figure out, well, how much dough are we using? And you can use either volume or area. You can make the assumption that it's a cylinder of dough, even though if anyone's actually made a pizza, I make pizzas all the time. Uh, but I didn't write this problem, but I'm happy to see it. Uh, if anyone has actually made a pizza, then... You know, it's not exactly a flat cylinder, but we can approximate pretty closely by just using the area formula. Or you could use a volume formula. Okay, so we need area or volume. So we consult our formula sheet and say the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. So let's call our first pizza. First pizza has area A1. That's pi times the first radius squared. We're just using subscripts here to denote which pizza is which. So the first pizza has area pi times, it was 10 inch diameter, so five inch radius, right? 10 inch diameter. And similarly, our second pizza has A2 equals pi times 14 inch diameter is a seven inch radius. Okay, so you can either approximate or use exact answers here. Using an exact answer here is actually better. Or you can approximate. I don't have a preference. But I'm just gonna use the exact answer here. 25 pi inches squared and A2 equals 49 pi inches squared. Whoa! All right, so even though we only increase the diameter by 40%, the area of the pizza doubled. As a, as a side note, you can also use these calculations, you know, if you want to figure out, okay, what pizza do I buy to get the most pizza for the least amount of cost? <laughs> I've done that too. Uh, and you can see how much pizza per, per dollar you're getting. <laughs> Uh, you can also think about the area, because remember, it's, it has to do with the area, which is squared 
Like it's the square of the radius. It's proportional to the square of the radius. Anyway, I'm not going to get into full pizza nerd mode right now. So it's going to, we're expecting it to be about double the dough. And now we can set up a proportion. So instead of 10 inch to 12 ounce, we're going to do, it's about 25 pi inches squared. That is to 12 ounces of dough. The same as 49 pi, you don't have to include units here if you don't want to, inches squared is to x ounces of dough. And we'll cross multiply, the units will cancel out. Um, we have the same units everywhere. And we're gonna get 25 pi x. And again, you could have also used approximations here. 25 pi times x is equal to 12 times 49 pi. And now when we divide both sides by 25 pi, the pi's are going to cancel out, which is why I decided to use an exact answer, but you didn't need to. And we throw, mathematicians, we throw around the words like exact answers very frequently. When I say exact, I'm leaving it as 25 times pi. If I multiply 25 pi on my calculator, I don't care how many decimal places I put, it's an approximation. So multiplying this out would be an approximation. This is the exact form. Okay. So the pi's are going to cancel. We get 12 times 49 over 25, which is something 12 times 49 divided by 25 is 23.52 ounces. Exactly. Well, according to our assumption that our pizza is perfectly cylindrical with the same height. But that's how many ounces of dough we're gonna need for this problem. Neat. I like pizzas. I'll show you guys a, you know what? I should attach a picture of my pizza to this video. We'll see if I remember. I made a pizza the other day. You guys are gonna like it. Good luck with the problems.